Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Q&A video based on some questions that some people have asked me on my first skincare routine video. I just thought I'd answer these questions on here so I don't confuse anyone and um, I don't know, I just wanted to give clear answers, like actual like informative answers. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it before I start waffling and yeah. Okay, so I'm look if I'm looking down, I am using my notepad um, to look at the questions that I wrote down. So the first question I got, which I got quite a lot, was is it even possible to get clear skin in seven days? And I really do um, sympathise with the people that ask this question because I would have asked the same type of question. Seven days is a very quick amount of time to fade acne marks, but it really did work for me. I can only speak for myself i don't know about other people the big thing that made my skin react really fast is i started using products that worked specifically for my skin i used products that were hydrating and um, nourishing and meeting what my skin required so instead of focusing on my acne marks i started focusing on my skin health as a whole and i feel like that changed a lot because i didn't even know my skin type before that period I didn't even know much about skincare and then I started researching I never used to use um, Aveeno I never used to use hydrating products I never used to use tea tree oil I never used to use rosehip seed oil um, the facial cleansing brushes I never used to use any of that I used to rely on what other people told me and what worked for their skin. I started wearing sunscreen. I'd never worn sunscreen before in my life. Like that's really shocking, I know. But yeah, when I started to do that, my skin absolutely loved it because I would go out in the sun and my dark marks wouldn't get darker. So it was only up from there because it would just get lighter. And I didn't wear makeup at all that entire week. I decided to give my skin a break. Um, and I think that did have a lot of impact with my skincare changes happening so rapidly um, because I used to wear makeup almost every day, I can't lie to you, because I was very insecure about my dark marks so I would make sure it was covered up, whether that be concealer or foundation, um, yeah it would just be layers and layers and obviously your skin isn't gonna improve if you don't have the right skincare routine and then also you're like layering your makeup and I feel like I never used to remove my makeup properly and that obviously contributed to the fact that my skin wasn't actually getting cleansed like it wasn't um, it wasn't right like everything I was doing was wrong so when I started doing the right things my skin did react dramatically and that's why I think my skin reacted so quickly in all honesty but it is up to like how your skin reacts to products. I can't say that everyone's skin is gonna clear in seven days, absolutely not. All I can say is if you do find what works for your skin, it will improve, that's literally what I can say. Another question I got was, what was the name of the sunscreen? And the sunscreen I use is called Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Protective Sun Lotion, and it's SPF 30 um i really love the sunscreen um i think you saw in the video it just really melts into my skin and i absolutely love that because i don't like having the whole uh, flashback flashback the white cast um casper the ghost looking finish effect and i feel like this sunscreen really doesn't do that it's never done that for me i've even got it on right now and it's it's great it's really really good um, someone said, does it have fa fragrance? Yes, it does have fragrance. Um, I personally have sensitive skin, but I've never reacted to the fragrance in the sunscreen. So I'm not sure if that's something that would put some people off because I know fragrance obviously is not good at all for sensitive skin. Um, but yeah, for me, it's not been a problem. And I really love this sunscreen in particular because it is very hydrating. Like they really do focus on hydration in their formula and that is such a big part of like a dramatic skincare change for me. <laughs> I really think that hydration is key to everything in your skincare. Even like hair care as well, like hydration is very key. Even like your inner self, it needs water. <laughs> so the fact that they really focus on hydration, I really love that. 
someone asked me do i have to use that cream or can i use another one i assume that they are talking about aveeno since that's the only one that you use in the video um and i will say absolutely not that is not a necessity at all you really do have to find a sunscreen that works sunscreen you do have to find the moisturizer that works for you um for me aveeno has worked tremendously because i have combination skin i have an oily t-zone and a um dry outer zone so um aveeno works for me but i do know that different skin types need different types of moisturizers and that is very key um like i was saying when i first started my skincare journey i didn't even know what skin types were i was just like i have dry skin because i was using skincare products that dried up my skin so it's like taking time to learn your skin is very important and that will determine how your skin reacts to products so for example um i know that the neutrogena hydro boost gel is very very good for oily skin i've not tried it myself but i will try it in the future because i have heard good things about it and yeah it is also hydrating as well as it being a gel is good because it's not as heavy um so yeah just use anything you want um look for skincare products that cater to your needs so skincare products that say for dry skin or for oily skin or for combination skin um another question i got was do you use the aveeno cream on your body or just your face and that's a really good question because it actually says body lotion on the bottle or daily moisturizing lotion i use it on my body and on my face um i switch between the cerave um lotion which i'm going to put up here and the aveeno for my body um both of them are really hydrating and they both work really well they're lightweight as well which i really love but then they're also like really hydrating because i have quite rough well i used to have quite rough skin so this worked well for me um someone said just wondering can you use the rose hip seed oil by itself and absolutely you can you can really just use it by itself um you can do it before you go to bed or i don't know like it's up to you but personally i like to use it with lotion I like to put my moisturizer on and then I like to seal with an oil because I feel like it reaches like my maximum hydration. I hope that makes sense. Um, I feel like it just makes my products penetrate into my skin. Like the oil is like a seal. <laughs> I really hope I'm making sense. Um, someone asked, how often do you do this routine? Day, nights or both? And I do this routine daily. I definitely do this daily. I've always done this because it is such a simple routine that works for um, day and night. Like I don't have products that would affect me at night time or products that would affect me during the day that I can't use. Um, yeah, but obviously the only thing I don't do at night time is wear sunscreen. Um, I don't do that. I don't know if people do do that, but yeah, I don't do that um someone asked me where do you order the ordinary products from and i get this from their website so they do have a website which i'm gonna link in the description but then also you can use other websites as well like beauty bay have good have a good range of like the ordinary products and uh, they also have like really good discount codes on there so yeah sometimes you can get like a cheeky 10 percent off or 20 percent off so yeah okay so someone asked me um would any of these products irritate my skin and i would say if you have sensitive skin use it in moderation for example the tea tree oil i would never recommend tea tree oil to be applied direct to the skin alone 100 percent not diluted i wouldn't recommend that at all for sensitive skin or someone that doesn't have sensitive skin for example i have sensitive skin and i like to dilute it with my lotion i like to mix it in um so yeah i do recommend that you kind of like create that type of barrier when you dilute it um yeah so it shouldn't irritate your skin but then when you do use things like african black soap it does have quite strong natural products in like lemon lime um lemon and lime so it, it's a case of if it doesn't work for you you really do need to like change that because it is quite a strong product so all these answers i'm given it's kind of like what will work for you because it works for me so 
um, I wouldn't know if it would irritate your skin, but it shouldn't because I have sensitive skin and it doesn't irritate my skin. But my only thing is just do everything in moderation to what suits you. Like for me, I apply a lot of tea tree oil because I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But not everyone will need that much. If the African black soap is too heavy, I would recommend using other cleansers. My personal fave um, that I've actually used before that worked for me was the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. I loved that cleanser a lot because it did the job, it did its thing. I had like an acne um, a breakout period when I didn't really know about African black soap and I used the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser and I, it really worked for me. I actually really would rate it highly i only switched to the african black soap because i wanted something natural i wanted something that contained natural products someone asked me whether or not i apply my sunscreen every two hours and i wouldn't say i reapply my sunscreen every two hours i would be lying if i said yes <laughs> um but i do add a second layer when i'm um out in the sun for example today the sun is out it's shining it's glistening so i will apply a second layer um after like maybe four hours um but if i'm in the house i'm not doing anything and i'm not getting sun exposure like that i won't apply a second layer but i know it is good too i have read that you need to because it's more effective within two hour period but i'm not too sure someone said can you use the rose hip seed oil if you have oily skin and yes yes you can and i asked this question too before i started using it um and i found out that you can because rose hip seed oil is a lightweight oil and it's often referred to as a dry oil because it literally penetrates into the skin it absorbs so well into the skin so obviously the fact that it absorbs into the skin um as a lightweight oil it won't clog your pores further like creating an acne flare-up so yeah you can you can use it if you have oily skin and take that from me because i also have oily skin like i'm not really teasing so someone said um lashes where do you get them from so i got these eyelashes from amazon i don't buy from an expensive um eyelash store or anything i just think that amazon is really good i don't know if you find like good eyelashes from good stores obviously it's fine but yeah these are from amazon i'm gonna have the link in the description i've used these lashes for years <laughs> um someone said i thought african black soap is actually brown not black and yes you are correct african black soap is brown um i think in my video it was brown as well but maybe it might have appeared black because of the lighting but yeah it's 100 percent brown someone said would you recommend your skincare routine to men and absolutely my skincare routine men can absolutely use it because i have products like tea tree oil in there um avino like things that don't cater towards women necessarily like it's for both genders so yeah you can absolutely um someone said how many times do you apply tea tree oil slash rose hip seed oil and i wrote i apply rose hip seed oil every single day i've got it on right now i love it it's my go-to oil but then i apply tea tree oil i would say Sometimes I do do it daily, like a week, I can do it like every single day. But um, I would say maybe like four times a week because sometimes my skin doesn't need it. So I apply tea tree oil when my skin needs it. So for example, when I have rashes, I get a lot of heat rash. I don't know why. Um, or um, if I have like acne flare-ups, I literally rub tea tree oil onto my face. Um, yeah, so I would say like, depending on what my skin needs that day is when I apply tea tree oil but rose hip seed oil is my everyday baby like yeah <laughs> someone said does tea tree burn and I would say yes tea tree does burn if you use too much of it and if you don't dilute it um it comes in a strong concentration depending on which one you get I usually get the 100% essential one um so yeah it's strong but then I dilute it and I mix it in with lotion so it doesn't you know affect me but don't apply it directly to your skin please please don't do that someone said what moisturizer would you recommend for oily skin and i would say the cerave 
moisturizing lotion i love that lotion and it's really good if you have acne it's very very good it works for me it works wonders and i recommend that i also recommend the um neutrogena hydro boost one i haven't tried it personally but i've heard so many good reviews on it so i am gonna try it so i can give a more authentic review but yeah um someone said have you tried the black girl sunscreen and no i haven't tried it but i've heard very good things about it um i know it doesn't leave a white cast which is absolutely amazing that is very very good so i am gonna try it and i will do a review i want to do like a review of skincare um skincare or sunscreens um for different skin tones and stuff so yeah i'd love to make that video for you guys and i think that was the only question that i've got last um i really hope i've answered everyone's questions and if i haven't answered your question please write it down in the comments description and i will comment description yeah comment section and i will reply to it directly um i've tried to answer some of the comments in the sections anyway well i've tried to answer all of them but if i haven't i'm really sorry and i hope i have tackled it in this video um but yeah i think that's it for today's video i really hope you guys have enjoyed it please make sure you subscribe i feel like i say this and it's so repetitive now but if you want to subscribe that would be really nice thank you um yeah so i'll see you guys on my next video next weekend